documents released by the Iowa Department of Public Health show the governor may have disregarded some guidance from researchers. That's right, Abby. In fact, a team from the University of Iowa told state officials a week ago Monday that loosening any restrictions could cause a second wave of COVID-19. KWWL Iowa City Air reporter Travis Breeze live for us tonight to break down this report. Ron and Abby, IDPH had a contract with the university to project a peak for the virus. Now, university officials say they have not had any correspondence from the governor's office since they submitted that report more than a week ago. The state asked a team of researchers in the College of Public Health to help predict future spread of the novel coronavirus. Their conclusion? that a second wave of infections is likely if bans on businesses or gatherings are lifted. Even with this information, the governor has debuted plans to slowly reopen the state this week by first allowing retail stores and restaurants in some counties to operate at 50 percent capacity. The Iowa Restaurant Association worked proactively with owners across the state to establish guidelines for adapting operations and meeting expectations of their customers. Reynolds did say businesses reopening must keep customers six feet apart. The researchers tried to convey the effectiveness of statewide social distancing, including a graph predicting COVID-19 deaths with the governor installing restrictions on March 17th, and that same graph showing roughly 75 more deaths, about 225, on May 1st if Reynolds had waited until early April. The state is currently reporting 136 deaths. I reached out to the governor's office as well as the State Department of Public Health about how much they considered this guidance when making some of the recent decisions about reopening certain businesses, but I have not heard back yet. Reporting live in Iowa City, Travis Breeze, News 7, KWWL. All right, Travis, thanks for the update tonight on that University of Iowa report. Now, that research team in Iowa City was also under contract to kind of weigh in on the University of Washington's projection model for COVID-19. You may have heard about that. Well, we do have both of the full reports on our website right now on kwwl.com.